basically our idea was to develop a platform for gene regulation and to evaluate this platform, this nanotechnological platform for the treatment of malignant brain cancers. And this is when we teamed up with uh, Dr. Chad Merkin at the International Institute for Nanotechnology and together uh, we developed this, this platform uh, for regulation of aberrant gene expression in uh, malignant brain cancers. The unique thing about nanoparticles is they have the potential to penetrate any and all cells. And one of the big challenges that we have with brain tumors is the inability for many toxins, many chemotherapies, many agents to penetrate the blood-brain barrier. So what we can do is we can inject these particles into the bloodstream and these particles have the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier and to selectively accumulate in malignant gliomas. When we do this, we actually see a three to five fold reduction in overall tumor size and overall tumor burden, and we see approximately an increase in 20% of in overall survival. So right now we are gearing up towards testing these particles in human beings. The next step for us is to evaluate whether we can safely and robustly deliver these particles to non-human primates. Uh, and hopefully by the beginning of 2015 we will be able to enroll these particles into a small number of patients in a phase zero clinical trial. I'm the professor of neurology. Labs, we, we're looking at the, what's the mechanisms and which make a tumor in this case, it could help us to grow faster. Scientifically, they make it to grow faster, we call oncogenic genes, promotive genes, make it grow slower, we call tumor suppressive genes, or tumor suppressors. We also do use uh, a clinical uh, used uh, drugs, compounds to see test in vitro and the test it in, in, in a mouse model. For our cases, we use a drug we know suppresses something.